In the battle for Libya, new signs that Muammar Gaddafi is losing his grip on power. Five Libyan army generals turned up in Rome today, saying they, had, uh, they and scores of other officers have defected. And in Tripoli, Gaddafi himself appeared on TV for the first time in weeks to welcome a delegation offering him one last chance to escape. Alan Pizzi is there. South African President Jacob Zuma arrived to the eccentric pomp and clamor that is a signature of the regime of Colonel Muammar Gaddafi. His peace mission is seen as a last-ditch effort to find a diplomatic exit for the Libyan dictator. The crowds chanted, we want Gaddafi, but the man himself was nowhere in sight, and Zuma was whisked away in a convoy surrounded by South African soldiers and police. Hours later, the two men strolled into an ornate hall believed to be part of the much-attacked compound known as Bab al-Aziza. It was the first time that Gaddafi has been seen since May the 11th. That's not least because NATO warplanes have picked up the pace of airstrikes, and British planes are being armed with powerful bunker-busting bombs that prompted NATO's Secretary General to predict that what he called Gaddafi's reign of terror would end soon. To add to Gaddafi's woes, eight Libyan army officers, including five generals, told a press conference in Rome that they were joining the Libyan rebels and that 120 officers and soldiers had defected in recent days. And now it seems the peace mission has fallen flat. Zuma told Libyan and South African television that Gaddafi said he was willing to talk about a ceasefire but made no mention of meeting the rebels' key demand that he step down. In effect, the same answer that scuttled the last such peace effort. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Tripoli.